In this video, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of maintenance. If I look a little crazy right now, it's because I'm going to be microneedling my receding hairline. <laughs> so, so many of us will leave our hair down or we'll part it in the middle as we get older, so it won't, it will disguise that. But if you get tired of that, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how to microneedle your temples to get this, to trigger it to start to grow back because the scalp can be tricky but there is a way to get this done. I did this video four years ago, but I haven't been keeping up with it, obviously. So stay tuned, that's coming up next. Welcome back, Christine Beyer here, licensed esthetician for 22 years. And on this channel, we talk about your skincare journey because it's never one thing that makes your face look better. It's a whole bunch of things, right? I'm gonna be temp doing my temples. I did color my temple area last night because I was getting lots and lots of grays. At 54, we get lots of grays. To do the microneedling, you can use whatever you want. Some people have pins, some people have derma rollers. Derma rollers are a little tough for the hair because the hair gets stuck in the roller. Not my first choice. This is actually a Korean device. It's called the Queen Skin Pro. They don't sell this to lay people. I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on, just for kicksies. I gotta keep it clean, you know? And when you do microneedling for hair regrowth, you need to make sure that it's a 0.75 millimeters of depth. So you don't have to be doing like two millimeters or something crazy like that in this area. That's way too much. I'm actually not even gonna use numbing right now, although it would be nice, but <laughs> this is done so fast. I mean, it's really so fast with this device that I feel like I can handle it. And the video that I did, I think it's been four years now because I was turning 50 and I was having a hard time with it. And I was like, take that 50. And it did make it grow quite a bit. I've just been negligent and haven't really cared, but I had my hair pulled back the other day and I was like, hmm, that looks really like it's continuing to recede. I was gonna do that today. And I'm gonna set up my needle and get this open, put these gloves on. Yeah, this has, I think, 12 needles. So if you think about it, that's a lot of needles going into the skin all at once. On this, we can twist it to get, um, and if I wanted to, I could put some fluid in there. I don't even know if they still sell these. So you twist it to get to the length that you need to be. And I usually need to turn this on to see it if I was making it shorter. I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> okay, that's better. So I can see this now, see how long it's gonna be. Okay, so I need to see. I usually put this in front of my mag lamp. I'll put it on 0.75 here. So, <laughs> I'll probably have to take this off. So I'm gonna turn this off for now. Just go ahead and get this nice and covered. Remember, it's gonna be at 0.75 or higher. Now, I have washed my face and all of this is sterile. Although at 0.75, you might get some blood points. I'll leave a little bit in there in case I need it some more. Putting it on the highest. I don't like doing this with my right hand, I'm lefty. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it is painful. Wow. <laughs> Am I bleeding yet? Yeah, I'm gonna get into this hairline. Barely in here. Use a light touch. Otherwise, you'll bruise yourself. I don't know, but this device is really strong. Get back in here a little. I think that's quite enough. All right, so I'm gonna do the other side. And this device has a lot of power. If you're using one that, like the Dr. Pen, I think you usually, generally you have to turn up the speed so that it can get through this skin here. If you have very thin skin, probably not a good idea. You could do it slower, but See, I think I got a little few blood points there. You don't have to be dripping with blood for this to work. You really just want a little bit of erythema or redness. You just want it to be red. Although with scalp, with growing hair on the scalp, you really do need a 0.75. And so if you get some blood points, that can be normal. 
just want to wake up that follicle. It's in there. It's just waiting to be woken up. And a lot of times you can use scalp serums and minoxidil and all sorts of stuff. And then it doesn't grow here because it's been dormant for so long. All right, let's do the other side. So it needs something to break through that barrier and wake that follicle up. And microneedling is wonderful at that. You can actually do your full scalp. I'd probably go to a professional to have that done just because it's a little tricky to do your own full head. It's kind of a major endeavor. <laughs> there are scalp specialists and doctors that deal with hair that do do this. All right, let's do the other side. Okay, I just made sure I put a whole bunch on there for some slip and glide. Here we go. I'm turning it up high. Yes, it hurts. <laughs> it does. You could use numbing. You don't have to be like me because there's 12 needles going in all at once. I'm not really, I don't have to do it that long, right? Just want to make sure you get into that hairline. I did wash my hair today. Make sure everything's clean. I think I'm done. I could do through here, but no, I don't think. This is the side I sleep on the most. Whew. I wish I had numbed my lips that I did my lips right now, but that's another that's another day. <laughs> so there you have it. At this point, I would go in, dab off any blood, and I will probably do some LED. And then for maintenance or to help the process along, I will use the hair thickening serum from Neogenesis because that, that for me works like gangbusters after I've done this, where I've broken open the skin and sort of activated that hair follicle. Um, then that tends to work better for me. There are a lot of people that, that works just right off the bat, but I think this has been dormant for so long on me. You know, it's been decades that this has been happening that I need a little bit of a jolt, like a waker upper of the microneedling at 0.75 millimeters or less, but I would keep it around 0.75. And then after that, any growth serums I use on my skin, this area tends to work better because the follicle has been activated. So let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned that up. And at this point, I'm gonna use just a few drops of the Neogenesis Hair Thickening Serum. And so this is used twice a day. You wanna wet the area and then put just a few drops where you're trying to grow. I can't even see in the mirror, in the uh, monitor here. I don't really wanna touch it to it, but so just a few drops where you're trying to grow. Remember to wet the area first. Do it over here. And then I do that twice a day. I have taken before and after pictures before. I know that this works really well. Yeah, so do this every day. Um, there are people who will microneedle once a month for up to six months and then give their scalpel rest. It's a really effective treatment. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye now.